Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Blazing. Got some live commentary action going on right now, man. We're on the Gears of War 4. We're doing some, uh, so you know, some campaign videos, man. Something to ease the time, pass the time. As we wait, uh, the next next game I'll probably do is probably Halo after this once we complete the series. And then heading into next month, we've got a game that I'm highly, highly looking forward to called Days Gone. And I'm super excited for that game, so I can't wait to possibly stream or upload that game for you all and it's going to be great man but like if if you're excited for this series man make sure to drop a like right now or just let me know let me know if you guys have ever played any gears of war games and all that stuff and you know we're about to start a new game right here i got a little bit into it not too far nothing too far and all that stuff and you know we got hopefully everything's going good right now man uh new series i want to try something a little bit different i'm not really enjoying the games i have been playing uh I'm on PlayStation right now. There's not really anything that's really caught my interest. A couple of things, but I gotta get them really quick. So right now I'm just waiting, just taking my time, doing something a little bit different, taking a different approach. Because you guys know me, I'm mostly like to play Call of Duty a lot, but I'm not enjoying this one. But I also play a multitude of games. I don't limit myself to just one thing because I love all games pretty much. And it's just gonna be a good time, man. So without further ado, let's get right into this. And every time we get a cutscene or something like that, I'm just gonna. Mute the mic so you guys can hear the full dialogue and you'll be fully invested into the story mode so you know what's going on and you won't hear any background noise and all that sort of stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into this and we should be getting into a cutscene right here, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And let's see how this goes. Here we go. Finally today, in New Ephira, First Minister Jin commemorated the 25th anniversary of the end of the Locust War. Today, we are humbled by the presence of two generations of men and women who braved every danger, who fought the battles that made us what we are, including the most pivotal encounter of the Pendulum Wars, Ashbow Fields. Santiago! I'll spare you the inspirational speech, Private. You know what to do. Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. We take down those towers, cripple their communications, then raid the lab. Command wants the hammer of dawn. Command gets the hammer of dawn. All right. Boom. All right. Let's get right back into it. Out here in the Pendulum Wars, this is a. Uh, it's kind of like a little throwback right here. This is, really isn't into the main story. Like I said, I played a little bit of this. Uh, not too far into the game. This is a little bit like a throwback of uh, back in the day when uh, you see. I think her name is Jill or Jen. So one of those uh, two name names. Uh, she just pretty much remembrance, gets a remembrance of remembering all the veterans of E-Day. You know how in U.S. history there's D-Day, and in this history there is E-Day. Uh, they couldn't find something a little bit different and make something up. I don't know why, but hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> and, man. Uh, from what I've played so far in this game, uh, the campaign, or not the campaign, the mechanics and everything is really good. Uh, I've played a little bit of the older Gears of Wars, not, uh, I haven't really fully finished them and all that. I never really focused too much on the multiplayer, I was always more invested in the campaign in my, uh, perspectives. And it's been good so far, man, I enjoy the series and all the things that they have in the series. It's not completely bad, and I've, like I said, I've enjoyed myself, and there's no complaints so far, and it hasn't been for a while, and, you know, I just enjoy it. No complaints, as long as there's no complaints, man, that's how you really know you are in the middle of enjoying a game. Yeah, let's destroy that. Are these locusts or are these, uh... I never even took the time to figure out what these actually are. Huh. For those of you guys that have never played Gears of War, the locusts are like these like little alien looking things. And you'll, you'll end up seeing them pretty soon. Where is my retro lens? I need that. I need that ASAP because that is the main weapon that we're going to be using throughout this game, the Retro Lancer and the regular Lancer. 
I think the character we're using now is called Don, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I'll and Zoom. That that big one. <laughs> Dumb code names. Gonna put this right on here. Be ready to blow the tower. Let's see what happens. We're lighting our bonfire in three, two, one. This base is now dim, dumb and blind. Also, I'm shit canning our code name, Santiago. See you at the lab. Let's right, get to it. The lab's just back at it like a mug. Crack at it. All right. Machine gun nest. We're we'll taking left. Oh my god, it's like mortars coming in. I don't want to get hit by those. Oh, you can see them. I didn't even notice that. Let's not get in the way. That little red circle, for those of you guys that never played Gears of War, means like that's how much damage you're taking. That's how close you're about to die. Uh, the more, the darker the red gets, the more close you are to dying. And... Yeah, she kind of didn't know that. A lot of people haven't played this game. So you got to throw a little nade in here. Uh, we got more names over here. No, you know, got to re-up, a little re-up right here. Get some re-up on some nades, man. Oh, there's also some uh, collectibles in this. See them? They're usually like little shiny medallions around the map. So if you guys see them and I don't end up picking them up, feel free to uh, put a timestamp in the video and let me know. So that way I can go back and get them, probably get some trophies and all that stuff. That would be a, a huge, huge help. But like I said, that's that's if you guys are invested into it. If not, I just hope you guys all get invested into the story one way or another and just enjoy the series. And so, cause so far we're just, you know, how you're having a good time, man. Got the Nasher. Alright, guys, the drill. Eliminate the guards and go to work. Alright, I'm ready. Put me in there, coach. Put me in there. Put me in there, coach. Sorry if it sounds kind of loud, the button mash. You guys know how the Xbox One controller is. Well, if you don't know, it's uh, pretty loud. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> like, it's so loud, it's kind of unnecessary. I'm not going to lie. It makes the PlayStation 4 controller sound like super, super light. Open up on him! Get some wall bounce action. Sensitivity is kind of fast, mostly because of the do the multiplayer when I was playing. You kind of have to have a fast sensitivity when you play multiplayer. Just because of the fact that, like, time to rendezvous with the major. It's like, it's like rendezvous with the major. I just go, so let's go. You gotta have to do some like type of wall bouncing stuff, where she pretty much literally is in the name. It's just wall bouncing, bounce from wall to wall. It's like a strategy. If you guys have ever seen this game play competitive, it probably has one of the most entertaining competitive modes just because of how fast paced it is and how insane. I remember regroup first. Yeah, there goes the major. I'm about, to, I'm about to smoke him now. It's over for him now. I should be the major, man. I'm killing everybody. Ain't nobody getting no kills. What is this? Aw, oh, they call it reinforcement. Aw, oh, man, I'm a mess. Look at that dude. Oh, my God. I almost got him. Oh, my goodness. All right. Try this again. My first major was a fail. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Chill out. But, oh, thank God. Get the chainsaw. What? Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen, Hayden Song. Uh, I don't want to talk about what happened. Um, probably didn't chainsaw because I don't have a chainsaw on this because it's a retro lancer. It's the wrong weapon. So, pardon me. <laughs> don't roast me up in the comments, even though I would probably roast me up. Uh, it's just a technical fail. Uh, don't even worry about it. We'll just act like it never happened. And, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Ten minutes. Abort mission and get the hell out of here. Okay, Santiago. Time to meet our new friends. Right behind you, Major. Right, we got ten minutes. Well, they got ten minutes. We gotta protect this place. Defend the lab. Oh yeah, we got the MG gun. How's it feel? How's it feel? It don't feel good, do it. Yeah. This is what, two days before E Day? If you guys don't know the history, like US history or something like that, D Day was like one of the craziest days. And I think it was World War II, if I'm not mistaken. It's not World War II, it's World War One. I. I, I think it's World War II. It's like one of the most infamous days in military history. Because it was like the all out, like the final day. Like it was like all out. Like you had to go all out in order to win the war, pretty much. And E Day for Years of War is pretty much. 
the equivalent to DJ. As you can tell, the similarities in the names and they bear a lot of similarities. That's why they're similar and they're both war games. Well, D-Day obviously was a game that was real life. So I shouldn't say that because that would be probably offensive to some people that lost their lives. But we can't forget the Falling Gears, man. Type of F in the chat for all the Falling Gears out there, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We defended the lab. We'll see what happens. Oh my god, the ambush. Run! Run! No, don't, don't run down the wall. Go! Go! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, dude just got clapped! Bro, dude just got clapped! Yo, F in the chat. Yo, man. Yo. I wish you could put the weapons away so you could run a little bit faster. I'm not gonna lie. They called it an airstrike and everything. Oh my. We lost a fallen soldier, man. That's a, uh, that's a F. That's a major F. We ensured our survival in the worst conflict our world had yet known. But only two years later, a new horror, a new enemy, a new war. Uh, control, be advised, divert the Colonel's convoy. Sorry, Corporal, we're all here we go, ladies and gentlemen. E Day. Corporal King. City's a red zone. We don't want the city to be a red zone. Alright, oh my goodness. This is definitely the locust now. This is definitely where we're getting into the locusts, and uh, locusts are like those little alien people, like creatures. I think they're the same thing, but as you can see, they obviously look anything really like what you just saw. <laughs> they're definitely a lot more ugly. Kind of look like Greg's a little bit. They're, they're bald, just like Greg's. So, you know, Greg, maybe you know some of these. Maybe, maybe this is your uncle I'm about to just. Oh man, if that's your uncle. I'm sorry, Greg. You know, you're all all you bald people look alike. So, I'm just, I'm just sorry. Am I being, oh, yo, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that big old thing. Yeah, now I'm gone. We ain't about to open fire. Nah, I'm gone, bro. Nope. Nope. Dude was talking about open fire. You think guns gonna kill that? Like, what's the... That thing is ugly, bro. It's like a foot. Like, yo. The Hammer of Dawn. I gotta get that. For those of you guys that don't know, the Hammer of Dawn is like the most OP uh, thing in the game. Just because of the fact that... It literally, the Hammer of Dawn uses satellites to use the sun's energy and it comes down on people. Like, you're about to see it right now in effect. It uses like the rays of the sun's energy and it just... You guys know the sun is, uh, the sun is hot, right? This thing ain't dead, like... You guys know how hot the sun is, man. It's so hot and this thing ain't dead. This goes to show you how ugly and insane these things are. Like, look at this. It went away, but is it dead? Probably not. Ugly creatures never want to die. <laughs> yo, yo, what is that? Oh my god. Get back, I'm throwing nades. I'm chucking nades! I'm chucking nades like Tom Brady, baby! Let's go. You reload. I need some ammo. Is there some ammo right here? Oh, back. Let me go, go, go cool off real quick. Yeah, it was about to get real hot in here again, buddy. Ain't no more than a cooling off. Look at all that blood coming out. Uh, yeah. You guys aren't a fan of gore? <laughs> You're watching the wrong game. That's all, that's all I'm gonna tell you. You guys love gore. You're watching the right game. Look at that. Uh, look at all that. The blood, gore, and the guts. Yeah, it's amazing. Corporal Kim, sir. Corporal Kim. Congratulations. You're Congratulations. You're in. Get inside now. I've got the code for the door, Colonel. Cool well, good for you, son. <laughs> the man said, well, good for you, son. Hey, this dude was, uh... Fold the stairs. These dudes love leaving us by ourselves, don't they? Like, they... They just want us to die. It's back. I thought it was dead. What you mean it's back? 
What you mean is back? What is that? What is that? Look at big dude. Oh, it's like two. Are you telling me that? that hold up. Yo, how many of them are there? What? Alright, it's not killing people. Am I doing it wrong? Bro, what's going on? People are not dying. I'm backing up. I'm gonna die. Oh my. Oh my. I can't die. Not again. Not again in this video. Not again. I have to clap some people. The hammer of dawn apparently isn't working. They got the boom shot. Those of you that don't know, the boom shot is like a grenade launcher, and it's uh, it's pretty much like the equivalent of the war machine in BO4, where you just shoot it anywhere and it pretty much pulls up. Hey, bro, this dude, hey, I'm out here fighting DJ Khaled, bro. This shit is crazy. And I'm gonna die. Oh, okay. That's why you don't push by yourself. Now you gotta spam A or wait for somebody to revive you, but they're all probably gonna die. Look at dude just... Oh, don't, don't worry about us, I guess. It's fine by me. Don't kill me. Got the tornado right there. What is that? Ooh, whoa. Oh, heck no. What is that? What is that? It's got like... Did you just shoot an RPG? What did you just shoot at me? It just looked at me. That thing got an RPG on it, bro. What? Yo, can you guys imagine? <laughs> imagine they have like back in the day some horses with like rocket launchers on it yo can you imagine how crazy that would be he was just riding up on you would hit you with the e-haw and then the grenade launcher pops up out of nowhere and then you're dead bro and like, i just over you're just done all you hear is some yee-haw and then you're dead bro like it's over the dawn the hammer of dawn went offline what you mean by nightfall that's crazy. Emergence Day That's crazy. had earned its name. Like many of you, I was only a child then. It was a dark, terrible time. And our victory was in no way assured. Seventeen years after E-Day. Look at these dudes. Look at them. Look at them, they're ugly. We're the queen. Look at these ugly mofos, bro. This is crazy. I thought we were all dead. I guess we still got some people alive. I know you mess, but you need everyone on that wall right now. Alright, bet. I mean, they, if we die, it's over for y'all. <laughs> like, I don't know how y'all gonna survive if we die. That's all I'm saying. Alright, Gears, get up that ladder. Alright, Gears, get up that ladder. Say no more. Where the hell am I? I? I don't remember this part. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really don't. Maybe because it's been a while, but I don't. why don't you climb the ladder with one hand? You can't put the gun on your back, fool. Oh, she got dreads. Oh, she got dread dreads. Yo, what's your hair? What's your hair routine? I need to figure that out. I'm trying to give me some dreads too. You feel me? You know, after the war, and all, I'm gonna give me some dreads. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you ain't gonna do that to my man. Chop you up. Yo, he was. Yo, my man got knocked out, bro. Did y'all see that? This is the final stand. SMH. Look at all this fire, all these people. It's over, bro. It's over. This is the last stand, but it's over. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do in this situation? Like, imagine you're in this situation, right? You're in the cog. That's what the military is called over here, the COG, and then their gears is their names, right? And you're in this situation, man. I know you're medics, but we need you out here. You, you walk through that door and you see this. I'm turning the other way, bro. Like, it's a wrap. Like, ain't no way we're beating this. Like, I'm like, it's over. It's a wrap. I'm gone. Like, what? Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I might have to just die in honor. Clap. Just clap him a couple times real quick. Oh, my goodness. Alright, I gotta stop dying. Next video, I'm not gonna die. At all. Alright, I'm playing a little bit reckless. <laughs> I'm playing a little bit reckless, I'm not gonna lie. But, I got y'all. Bro, what did I just get hit by? That's crazy how as soon as I say that, I die again. What did I just get hit by? They have a they have a game mode on here, too. For you guys that don't know. Where... What am I getting hit by, bro? Like... I'm fucking getting spawn trapped in Call of Duty. Like, this is insane. I don't know what is going on. 
but it's got to stop. Oh, yeah. What's up? It's over. It's over. I got armor on this. It's over. Yeah, we got... But they just keep coming. They just keep coming. They just keep coming. Give me these names. What do you that? Yo, where did he come from? Yo, I must be blind today or something. I don't know what's going on. But this is actually insane. Where did... Was he always here? It was the major. Came back on this, on this turret. All right. See what's going on. Turn, hell down there. Hit that. Hit that. Oh yeah. All these barrels. All these barrels. Use the turret to defend the wall. Say no more. I'm about to fall, but hey. But hey. They pulled up on us. Man, usually we're supposed to pull up on them. They pulled up on us. How are you supposed to do? Look at that. What is that? Bro, you see this? They got this big old like. What is that? Yo, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's a wrap, bro. They got two of them. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Use the turn to defend the wall. Objective complete. It's over. This ain't killing them, bro. It's not even phasing them. What am I supposed to do? It's over. It's three. What is that? Yeah, hey, look at this. It's over. It's it. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Just keep firing, bro. This ain't doing nothing. This ain't doing nothing, man. You about to let us all... Just say we're all dead, man. Because this... F's in the chat. What just happened? What in the... But against all odds, a brave cultures led by Marcus Phoenix finally ended our locust nightmare. He did it. How dearly I wish Sergeant Phoenix. Marcus Phoenix, ladies and gentlemen, the goat. The goat. RIP to all the fallen COG soldiers out there, man. RIP. Thanks to them, we fought through the long twilight. We built a new prosperity. The world the new COG has ensured knows no war, no suffering. It's a world of safety, of family, a world finally at peace. You coming? Just give me a sec. For a butterfly? Yeah, look. You know how this little guy starts out? Trying to stay alive. Gotta get inside. Alright, for those of you guys that are out there, we're gonna end episode one right here. Thank you all for watching so far. Hopefully you guys are excited for the next one. We're gonna upload these consecutive consecutive days in a row. Uh, probably towards the nighttime, a little bit towards the nighttime. See you guys just watching, just enjoy. Thank you all for watching. Episode 2 will be up tomorrow. Uh, let, me know, let me know if you guys want them to be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. Let me know how you feel about the story mode so far. Uh, like I said, I've played, i gotten a little bit into the uh, into the story mode. I'm not too far, so I kind of know what's going on right now. But I'm still learning new things. Like, I forgot about some of the things. It's been a while. I don't play this game consistently. But, you know, we're about to change that. And uh, like I said, I won't die as much in the next video. And if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about the story mode overall. Let me know some things I could change to make the videos better. And it's been your boy in Blaze. See you guys in episode two. As soon as I walk out, they stand in. I had be patient for this. I'm the man now, was the man then. I had my way with a bitch. I'm the man now, was the man then. I put some ice on my wrist.